Hello everyone. I've got some requests to show how I orchestrate my acoustic guitar pieces, so I'm going to show you how I do that. And I'm going to add some orchestral embellishments with a MIDI. Uh, this is on my Golden uh, Freeway, and you can see that I'm, I'm using, what I'm using here is the Fishman Triple Play Wireless MIDI Controller. So the pickup is it installed via adhesive you can see it right here right in front of the bridge that's where it needs to be installed so if you're going to buy one of these you have to make sure you have room between the bridge pickup and the actual bridge itself for this thin little pickup to fit in this was actually the only guitar electric guitar that I own that it would fit in so it's a good thing I had this already alright so this communicates to this controller right here which then sends a wireless signal to a USB dongle that I have plugged into the USB port of my computer. So that's how this whole whole thing operates here. Alright so I have that little piece already recorded in my DAW here and uh, what I'm going to do now I'm using sonar and you know most programs are kind of similar in a way this is set up more like a mixing board so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to insert the triple play. So I go under soft sense here and come down to my plugins and I'm going to install triple play as just a simple MIDI channel. So this will uh, insert my controller here and this is what the interface looks like. Now the controller is not turned on, my guitar controller is not turned on right now so it says controller not found. I'm going to turn that on now and it should start sending a signal. And we have a tuner here which is kind of handy so we can uh, tune our guitar with the tuner. And uh, then we can adjust the levels of each string to get a nice balanced uh, sound from our uh, controller. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to install one of the synths on this. I'm going to use uh, Omnisphere which is a, one of the programs that I purchased. There are some samples that come free and many of them are pretty good. The one that I use, the flute that I always use on the Jethro Tull pieces is a free one that came with a sample tank down here. But I purchased Omnisphere because it, it has thousands of uh, samples, more than I'll ever hope to use. And uh, a lot of them really aren't useful for um, acoustic pieces. But here we can uh, adjust some of the parameters. We can adjust the dynamic sensitivity, which I'm going to put at uh, even. Touch sensitivity, I'm going to put in the middle. We can adjust whether it's monophonic or polyphonic here. We can transpose this up or down. And then uh, we can get how the pitch blend is going to be here. But let's open the uh, synth here. So it's got all the different categories over here and uh, we're going to go to pads and strings because I'm going to be choosing some string samples and then I'm going to come down here I like the Hollywood Studio string section it's one of my favorites so here we have the Hollywood Studio string section so let's choose that and see what that sounds like now So I just like the sound of that sample there. So let's uh, close this and uh, minimize this window. So now we have our controller. What I'm going to do first with the acoustic piece that I have uh, chosen to uh, play along with here, we're just going to wing this as we go. So we're going to kind of be making this up as we uh, go along here. But let's, uh, let's play along with the melody at first here and uh, we'll just strengthen the melody with a string section and see what that sounds like. So here we go. Alright, let's, let's give it a go here.
like that. There we've just added the melody to the piece. And let's go in and we're going to bounce that track. Because we're going to double up on these things, we're going to overlay parts. We need to bounce that over. So let's go back to the track view and we're going to select this section that we just recorded on the triple play. This So this is our MIDI information in this track here. You can see what that looks like, all the MIDI information. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bounce that to a new track. So bounce to track, and we're just going to choose tracks here. Do a fast bounce over to a new track, and we're going to call it Melody. We're going to label this one Melody. All right. All right. So now I want to uh, overdub over this. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to erase this MIDI information that's already in here because I'm going to play a different part. So let's erase that, delete that. All right, so now we've cleared out the MIDI track so that we can uh, overlay another part here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add some bass uh, parts. I'm just going to play bass notes along with um, the track here. So this is going to be very simple because I'm just going to be playing an A, a D, and an E note on the bass strings because that's all that's in here. So let's record that. So now we've just added some bass notes. So let's go ahead and bounce that over to a new track. So we'll go back and we're just going to bounce that real quick. All right, so now I have the melody and a bass note. Um, recorded along with my guitar piece. We're going to delete the information once again in our MIDI track. Now let's just add some chords over that and we'll wing it and see how it turns out here. <laughs> So there we've added some chords, uh, not perfect, probably could come up with something better if I spent more time on it, but uh, let's accept that. Let's go ahead and bounce that over to a new track.
All right, so now we have three parts. We have, I'm gonna go ahead and erase the MIDI data again so we can get rid of that. So now we have three tracks here. We have a melody, we have a bass section, and now we have some chords on top. All right, so Let's just see what our little orchestral section sounds like. So I'm just going to solo that. Go up here, we'll go down, and then we're just going to solo. We have all these going to this bus, so we're going to solo our string section. <laughs> So that sounds good enough. Let's take that whole mix down so that we can hear it now with uh, the guitar. So, you know, not the best, but that'll do. Now let's go and let's add a different instrument. Let's go to our synth here again. And let's unload Omnisphere. Now I'm going to just use the flute patch, which I use for all the Jethro Tull material. It's a pretty good flute here. So we have a flute right here. We're going to load that up. And see what that sounds like. All right, that'll do. So let's close this down. And now we're going to add, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play the melody uh, octave higher. And let's see how that turns out. So I decided to do a little uh, descending uh, scale there at the end, which you know I'm I'm just making it up. I'm making this up as we go, so this doesn't need to be perfect. If I spent more time with this, I'd probably work on some harmonies and things like that. But we're just trying to demonstrate this, right? So let's go ahead and bounce that over. And once again, we'll erase all our information in the MIDI track so that we get rid of that. All right, so now we have, we have uh, violins playing the melody, we have a flute playing the melody an octave higher, we have some chords and we have some bass notes. All right, so let's go in and kind of mix that a little bit, see what that sounds like. Mm -hmm. 